In order to change a photo's information, I'll first need to select a photo. To select the photo, I'll click on it one time with a left click, and now we know that it's selected because it has a bluish tint to the background. I'll then need to click on the Edit tab. The Edit tab can be found in the top left-hand corner of the screen. It's next to the Home tab, and if I click on the Edit tab one time, you'll see this menu here. The second section of the Edit tab says Properties, and the first option within the Properties menu is Rename. If I click one time on Rename, it's going to open this pane here, which is called the Tag and Caption pane. You'll see that the second information is comprised of some information. You'll see that the file name, in this case, is DSC00158. What the camera has done is it's associated a code with each photo, but typically that doesn't mean anything, so you may want to add a file name yourself. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and type Ketchikan, because that's where these photos were taken. Once I've typed in the proper file name, I can click the Enter key on my keyboard in order to set that file name. You'll notice that the file name now says ketchikan.jpg. JPG simply stands for JPEG, which is the most popular file type when working with photos. Typically, I don't give each photo I take a personal file name because it would take a very long time to do so because I take lots of photos. Sometimes I do like to give a whole group a file name and then have a number in a parentheses after it. For instance, I'm going to select all of the photos in this group here. I'm going to click on the first photo, and then I can hold down the control key on my keyboard, and I could click these photos individually. But there's also a shortcut. In the top left hand corner of my screen, you'll see that it says select all. If I click one time on select all, it's going to select all of the photos in this group. Now I can click on file name and then type in the new file name, which will be Ketchikan. Once I type in Ketchikan, I can press enter, and that's going to set that file name. Now, each file name says Ketchikan, and then there's a number in parentheses after it. So this here you can see is Ketchikan. Then we have Ketchikan 1, Ketchikan 2, and so on.